In yesterday's session, we learned about how to create a blank model and upload data into this model. So now in this model, we have data already loaded. It means we have a model in SAP Analytics Cloud and the data uh, is residing in this model. Now today class, we are going to learn about how to create a story and consume this model data in story uh, for creating our charts. So how to create a story now? So I, I navigated to my folder and then here I'm clicking on plus symbol and then going to cl click on story button. So here we have, we can create different, uh, you know, uh, story types. We can create responsive type of story, canvas, grid, and a smart discovery. So regarding response canvas grid, I already covered in the previous session, what are the differences between these three. And in today's session, I'm going to uh, you know, take this canvas and show you how to create charts in it. Okay, so when you select canvas here, we are having two options, optimized design experience and classical design. Classical design experience is old one and optimized design experience is the latest one. But what SAP is saying, this optimized design experience is providing more options, but not all the features it, you know, implemented in this design, uh, uh, optimized design experience type. Okay, design model type. So now in our case, yeah, uh, Nowadays, when we creating stories, we are using optimized design experience to get the more features, you know, more benefits out of it. Uh, many, you know, more options are available under this one. But let's learn now with the classical design experience because in the classical design experience, we have some features which are not yet available here, and I will show you those also. Um, now let's take a classical design experience. Now click on create button. So in classical design experience here, what happens, um, uh, one option is there, which is uh, easy for learners to learn how to create charts. Okay, this option is not available in the latest, you know, optimized to design version. Now we are in the new story creation board. Here it is, we need to add data. So once we add data, then we go for the chart creation and all here. So now how to add data, click on this add data. Then it will ask for the one, either get data from the CSV file or data source or from the existing model. Since we already created one model yesterday, so we let's click on this model and then select our model. So under trainings folder, this is my model in sales F1. So I'm selecting it. Now, uh, I, uh, you know, that got uh, available now. So if you see here, in, in this story, we have two tabs. One is story tab and another is data tab, okay? Uh, currently, it was enabled at data tab level. It means here I can see the measures from my model and here show dimensions means um, in the model, we have many dimensions are there. All the dimensions are not displaying here. So from here, we can display those dimensions. Now below this screen, this is there, right? This is like, you know, a data preview kind, you know, sample. We can get the sample charts here. Means analysis we can do using out of the above data set. So for example, if we click on the amount button, you see on the bottom, now system is trying to read all the data. Remember all the data from the model and trying to get the total. You see, um, 377,000, you know, dollars is the total of the amount here. So now when it is showing this number on the right hand side corner, top corner, you see it's a numeric chart. SAP is suggesting a chart based upon the selections you are doing here. Okay, it means this three seventy seven thousand three thirty dollars is the total amount. And to represent this total amount, you can use numeric point, you know, kind of chart in, in our story. Now, for example, if I select now plant, now what happened? SAP is trying to show combination of plant and amount. So for that SAP is suggesting a bar column chart. Here plant is coming on this axis and you know these bars are all representing the total amount values. Okay, so now if I, you know, okay, this representation is good and I want to use this representation in my story. How can I do that? By going to this option here uh, next to this uh, bar column. You can change if you are not satisfied with this chart given by, you know, SAP. You can change this chart to as you required. You know, here there are multiple things are there. But if you, uh, as, as we are on the beginning of this learning, so what we do, we click on this arrow mark and we copy this to the page one. So page one is nothing but the initial page, what it was created when we creating this canvas. You see, the chart was copied here. 
Now, when I click on this particular chart button, uh, on the right side, top corner, we have designer and controller. Two tabs are there. If I click on the designer, then this chart related options will come. Okay. So, I can configure this chart more by using this, uh, you know, configuration builder option. And if I want to do some, you know, pay, um, formatting kind of options, then I, by clicking on this paint brush, I can do styling to my um, chart. So, what is styling? For example, this bar is coming in this color right if I want to change the color of this bar so under styling um, where I can change uh, font uh, here not not under styling I think yeah under this uh, builder itself uh, we have an option you see color option so whatever bar color is coming it is there under builder so here I can go and I can give my different color to it so the color will change this under styling so let's discuss about styling quickly so border currently there is no border if you want to select a border then you can select borders here all borders means what happened for your you know uh, particular tile it will show borders okay if you don't want uh, the border then simply you can you know select you know no border also okay and then th these are different actions we will discuss in income text so what is this text font so whatever font you are seeing in your chart you know displaying that comes under this here for example default size if i am giving around 22 size then you see my font got increased to 22 so uh, here you can handle the font sizes and then you see color here so if you change here let's see let's go take some uh, you know red color and see observe you see all my text changed to red color okay so let me take default one only here and then if you want to make bold of your text then select here you can do bold okay so that all your you know um, this name plant one and amount all the headings and all coming in bold color and scale currently you see this 86159 i'm getting so uh, readable point of view you know if you are not happy reading that much big number here you can go for a uh, so for give for scaling and give thousand so what happened now 86.16 so what happened now you see on the header also um, amount per plant plant for actuals and it is showing in thousand in usd okay if we want to show you know uh, currently we are getting decimals for example if you say here for plant one it is eighty six thousand eighty six point one six but this value is in thousands right and if you don't want to see these decimals then you can uh, you know make the decimals to zero so that it can be round off okay so this also we can do using these decimals and let's we make it default only as it's right today now coming to the legend so at this point of time we don't have uh, we cannot show legend i will show you in some time and then labels so label label access table direction automatic uh, you can change the label direction and all and uh, label truncation and all we will see these in coming days so going to the settings page so we are done with styling so in styling mainly what we learn if you want to you know uh, make thousands you know scaling factor you can maintain in the styling button and you can add, uh, for round off these numbers and all and you can give borders and all okay so coming to this uh, builder part so in builder uh, this is important better than you know important than the styling so currently this is a bar chart we know that so in the bar chart if you go to this comparison so it means by using bar chart we are doing the compare we can pe perform the comparison here at this point of time we, since we are having only one kpi which is amount and if you see here under measures under dimensions under measures we have one amount kpi and under dimensions we have only one particular plant dimension Okay, it means one dimension and one measure we are using to uh, you know show this a uh, bar diagram and coming to the colors button so yeah all color with uh, this one and filters actual version of filter applied on the model by default so that's it now yeah, when coming to this comparison and chart orientation is important currently it is horizontal and if you want to change it to vertical you can change it to vertical so that it comes in a vertical format so next important point is a comparison as it is saying all the comparison related uh, charts it is grouped under uh, you know and kept in this comparison one currently we are seeing bar column but uh, there are some other uh, charts that are there combined you know combination column and line combination stack column and line stacked bar column waterfall so let's learn about this stacked bar column also in this session
So now what is this one? Uh, currently, uh, I'm showing plant, right? Um, now I want to add one more dimension here. So uh, what I mentioned, but not under dimension, under color, under color, I'm going to add one more thing. So add dimension. Mm. So which dimension I want to add? I want to add material group. Okay. So when I add material group, what is happening here? Under column, uh, when I added this material group, what happened? For each plant, there are two groups are there. Material group 1, material group 2. So for plant 1, material group 1, material group 2. So this, uh, you know, uh, the orange button is nothing but group 2. And then this one blue is a metal group 1. Okay. So for each plant, it is showing the corresponding values of uh, uh, this metal group 1 and group 2. But I don't want to show them separately. Earlier, it is a total 86 around, right? But this 86 now was separated into 64 and 22. Okay, uh, with respect to this uh, middle group and group two, uh, instead of showing them in uh, two different bars, I want to merge it and uh, you know show it inside uh, the such kind of chart is nothing but this uh, stacked bar column. So if I select this chart, then you see what is happening. Instead of showing two bars, now it is single bar, and in the single bar, it is showing the partition. So this metal group two is uh, 22%, and the other one is uh, 64,000, uh, you know, uh, USD like this okay so it means when you want to do styling uh, you know create chart storyboards you need to know how to use the charts so if you know how to use the charts based upon uh, how to not how to use i can say do you must know how, how chart behaves what kind of chart i can use for uh, to represent uh, you know different scenarios that you must know so how we get to know that such things uh, by you know understanding each and every chart given in the SAC then based upon your requirement you can get some idea okay this chart to be used in such scenarios and all okay so you have to learn each chart one by one one by one and understand what are the different properties each chart is having then you will have a complete idea of it and in interviews also they uh, you know interview people ask the persons uh, who were doing interview they will ask like uh, what are different charts you created in your storyboard so to repair, then you need to say like i'm using bar column chart to show that a comparison of two different uh, you know uh, dimensions for a like, single kppi and there are many trend different 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 charts are there right all this you need to talk in the interview okay in this session we learned about bar column chart and the stacked bar column uh, remaining column you know uh, i will explain in the next session Okay, so that